So as y'all can see by the title, your girl is attempting to do the whole bohemian faux lock whole entire situation, y'all. I literally woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? I want to do something with my hair. Like your girl was supposed to be getting her hair done right when this pandemic started and then I had to cancel all that. So your girl just been rocking her fro, rocking her natural hair, put my wigs on, you know, every now and then. But I wanted something that will be something where I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to touch my hair and it will not go bad fast. So I decided to do me some bohemian faux lock. Now to get into this video, y'all, as far as my parting goes, I start it in the front I just feel like honestly that's easier because like if we want to be real we only care about how the front looks like I mean I know I, I care about how like everything looks, but I really really care about how the front looks for my hair more than anything especially when you do like side part or you do like the middle part or whatever so I just kind of sectioned it out I don't know if y'all could tell section it out into like little squares I don't want super super small braids so you know, that's what I did. And I did that before j I showered and stuff just so that I can get that out the way. Um, I still have to go back and rebraid it, but you got to go make up run anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and use Shine and Jam. I'm not sure what a good brand of jam is just because I don't use jam, but I figured that this wouldn't be a bad brand just because people have been using this since they was kids. But yeah, what I've been seeing everybody do online is they just take a section, section out your hair or whatever, put a little jam around the sides, and you're just gonna braid this. Now, I wanted short bohemian locks, but my natural hair is long. Now granted, I feel like it'll shrink up maybe a little bit shorter, you know, once I go ahead and braid it. But yeah, I'm not sure what length this is gonna be, but I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to achieve a shorter length. I did see a kind of a way where you can get the shorter length regardless so we're just gonna honestly i'm feeling this video out y'all this is literally like a travel error it might be a, a good one or it might be a fail honestly but i'm gonna go ahead and take this out you guys i'm about to take me a little jam y'all and put this around my now i'm about to look at the mirror down here but i'm pretty sure y'all should be able to see but we just putting it all around just so we can get that smooth look. I do have Eco Styler, but what I found is like, I've used Eco Styler before for like some styles that I did, like like this. Like I did braids in my hair before, like box braids. I was gonna do that for today, but I said, you know, those locks are just so much more pretty, but it does not work for me. Like I feel like the moment that I sweat, you know, my hair out, it just goes away. But I'm about to take like a little edge brush and brush this hair back, y'all. you know, slick it so that it got that, that smooth, you know, that snatched look, and then you just braid it. But y'all see how it's slick, it's slicker right there than what it was before. Like y'all see the difference between the two? Hopefully y'all can, because I ain't want to slick it too, too much, but I hope that that, I'm gonna go back later once I finish the front and slick it more, but you know, that slick look compared to like the other ones. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair because I don't want this video to be dumb long. Y'all kind of get the concept of what I'm doing. You just slicking it and you braiding all of them. Um, As far as parting goes, what I did was I split my hair down the middle and did a middle part and then I split this whole entire section into three parts and this whole entire section into three even parts. And then I kind of just did that again, another one row behind it. And then once I did that, I went to the back and started doing the back before. I didn't go, all, I started and did two rows here then I went to the back and then I went up. I didn't go all the way back just because, I don't know, I just felt like it would be better off that way. But I started in the back, I did three. So I had did three parts and then I went up and I think I did another three, maybe four, or whatever. It doesn't really matter to me in the back. So I didn't really do it, you know, extra special. I just kind of did whatever. But I'm going to see y'all once your girl finishes jamming and doing everything to this hair. All right, y'all. So an hour later, um, it's been at least an hour, I think, maybe a little bit over an hour. Your girl has finally, if you guys can see, slicked my hair down. It's just to get like this slick look, you guys. I didn't do no super, super slick nothing. You know, we ain't trying to pull edges out or nothing like that. But I just parted my hair. Excuse use my parts because my parts are not like super you know I don't really care about the back parts y'all so I honestly have no clue how they look but this is what it looks like it's good regarding like the parts in my back of my head 
um i didn't want a lot of braids in the first place honestly so yeah i hope you know it don't look too crazy but now it's time to get into the hair y'all all right y'all so all the goodies um so the hair that i got is free chest that's what i pretty much saw like a lot of people using regarding doing the faux locks y'all um i got free chest i got bohemian curl now a lot of people use a lot of different things i've seen people who did um i think water wave i've seen people who did the bohemian braid i just went ahead and got the bohemian braid this one is like really curly um and it's 20 inches I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna need all 20 inches. I might cut these in half. I got six packs So we will see how many I actually use because I don't feel like I'm gonna need to use a whole bunch But at the same time, I want to make them thick enough so that it doesn't look crazy Especially because I don't have a lot of braids in my head. All right y'all so to get into this We're gonna take this hair out so y'all can actually see how curly this hair is. This hair is super Super curly. It's literally like a I don't even know how to explain it like a you know, whatever this curl is called I don't know what it's called, but it is really really long though so i don't necessarily think i'm going to need to use this entire like thing the way that it is i think i can cut it in half honestly and i probably won't even need as many packs as what i thought i was gonna need because y'all look how long this is like this is super super long it's 22 inches but look at the curl pattern that it has it's like super curly like a coily kind of curl um but i think what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna cut it in half do not cut it in half y'all i tried it out it did not work just leave them whole it works better because i don't you know i don't want my things to be super long like look how long this would be if i left it you know so we gonna cut this in half y'all all right y'all so i cut it in half so we got the two halves and i'm gonna just lay one half to the side and so these come in like little pieces i don't know if y'all can tell like how they kind of separate like that they come in like one little piece and two little pieces and stuff like that that's kind of how i saw people doing their thing so because of how thick i want it i think i'm gonna use two or three pieces per like dread so kind of like that you guys see that um and then people kind of teased it out so they kind of messed with it a little bit just to kind of get that messy look to it so they can y'all see what i'm doing i hope y'all can see they kind of separated it a little bit just kind of get it a little frizzy you don't want it dumb like stupid frizzy but you know a little frizzy all right y'all so i had to go ahead and do two just to kind of get the feel of it but this is what your girl came up with regarding them now i'm making them shorter than my actual hair like if you look at my hair my hair comes all the way down to here but the dreads come to here and basically what i'm doing is that i'm taking it back like this and wrapping the hair back up for these dreads you're gonna wrap it back up i want to kind of make them a little messier than this but I'm not even gonna press it because I feel like over time they're gonna get messy, you know what I mean? But we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do one on camera for y'all. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna grab five of these little individual curl things. These right here, grab five of them. We're gonna grab the end of these because what you're gonna do is you only need about this much. Just a reminder, these are not cut in half, they're whole. As far as it goes, cause you're gonna wrap all of this around the hair, y'all. So basically, we gonna do it on this one over here. We're gonna go ahead and take this needle through, through the hair like that. We're gonna take this part, the little short part that I had, you got the long part, hit the short part, and you're gonna hook it onto this crochet needle, like so. See, get it all on there. You don't want some of the hair missing like it's doing right now. Get all of it on there and close it then you're gonna pull it true and once you get it to that point i mean it's good enough y'all and just pull it all the way through the hair so now you have two sections you got the short part over here and you got the really long part so what i did is i'm taking the short part making it real real short because like i said you don't need it and i'm laying it against this braid right here and then what i do is i'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it around the base about three times, just so that, you know, get a clear separation. And then you're gonna start going down. Now I'm using what they call like a thumb method, where you keep your thumb basically at the back of this right here. So when you wrap, it stays tight, if that makes sense. So you take it over and then you take your thumb and then you wrap it just so it stays tight and it doesn't unravel. Wrap. And you go again, wrap, and then you do it all the way down. Why is it 
Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you know you don't put it past the point that you want. Now if your hair is shorter and you want it, you know, the length of your hair, then do that. But because my hair is longer, this is my hair over here. This is the dread that I have. You want to like make sure you match it up to it to make sure that it is around the same length, if not, you know, just a little bit off. So for this one, we can go um, a couple more times because it's not exactly the same length as that one is i'm trying to do it kind of a little messy just because that's kind of how the look is it's like a messy kind of look um over here i took like a little curl piece out trying to see that i want to do that um and i might do it for some more of them just because it was kind of cute <laughs> so i think that that's a good length so what i'm about to do is i'm about to take this part right here this part that's my hair and i'm about to just lean it against here like that and we're gonna i don't know how to explain this basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this one up this way so you pulling it up that way and then you basically like twist it you don't have to do this y'all but it kind of twists like that i don't know if that that is so hard to see y'all i'm so sorry but basically what y'all want to do is you got the two things i just take it up like this then i take this and i start to do the same thing that i did before hold that and then get your thumb and get the wrapping basically this is a little bit more difficult like i said i'm doing this because my hair is long if your hair is the length that you want it to be then you don't have to worry about this and then boom you get a dread you guys you get a dread now that one's a little bit bigger they're kind of similar in size they're not too 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 off they're not the same exact size but at the same time they're not like ridiculously different in size but yeah that's basically what i did to get it you know all to somewhat of a similar length um just because they are on different sides of the head so i mean i'm trying my hardest to get them in different lengths but you know i plan on doing them to the side anyway so it isn't really going to for real for real matter like that if we want to be real but yeah let's get just i think that's it i'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my head y'all y'all so whew, i am a little bit uh over halfway done um i did the whole entire first two rows and that was about 12 of these faux locks and i have only how did I, how many did i say i had 18 so i have like six left or six or seven left so yeah it's coming along pretty well i'm liking how it looks i'm pretty pretty sure i'm gonna probably do the side part the most one thing i will say is that i kind of made it a little longer on this side than this one but it isn't anything that's like an extreme like thing where you'll be able to tell sorry i'm looking at myself up here this is what it looks like so far it's a little messy but that's kind of how the look is and i put my little things in just to kind of gauge you know how many i want in i'm about to move to the back of my head now and yeah i'm just trying to figure out exactly how it's to do this if i want to keep it you know the length of this or am i just gonna make it go longer i don't really know but we gonna just try it out and see <laughs> y'all that was the last one this is what this whole entire looks look like um i'm freaking oil on my head forehead made my face break out but 
y'all it came out so much better than i thought it would um, i'm happy that i didn't manipulate it and i'm happy i didn't make it you know frizzy from the beginning because honestly when you play with it or you kind of not necessarily play with it but while you're doing your hair it kind of frizzes itself and it kind of has like loose little straggly ends um itself so you don't necessarily need to you know make it that way from the beginning over time it'll just gradually do it yeah y'all this is how it turned out it took me about mm, i'll say like a total of like three hours like i said i didn't have a lot in my head i probably had 18 or 20 of these in my head because i didn't want a lot um and i also didn't want them to be small either you know the takeout process is is hopefully going to be better than the put in process because this did take a long time i don't know how y'all be doing these and be doing the ones that's like waist or butt length like y'all have the strength okay of jesus himself because i just really don't know how y'all can sit here all day and do that it took me you know three hours to put them in you know from parting my hair to braiding my hair to actually wrapping it around and i only had 18 in my head so imagine but yeah y'all i hope this was informational i hope this was as helpful as it possibly could i try to get the angles as best as i possibly could so i hope you guys were able to see exactly what i was doing if y'all have any questions leave them down in the comment section i'll try to get to them as soon as i possibly can make sure y'all follow your girl on social media all the links are in my description box and yeah other than that love you guys so much thank you for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye y'all